Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Carl Weaver. Welcome to Smartphone Summit and my presentation, The Global Smartphone Revolution, Trench Hole. 智能手机新时代，各位中国朋友，大家早，欢迎参加参加今天早上的演讲会。Namaste，Shushwagatam，Upkaisehe。Good morning, everyone. Today's presentation will talk about China, which I term the mobile digital dragon, and India, which I term the IT super tiger. Today's presentation will talk about the global smartphone revolution, the concept of converged mobile devices, where convergence is going, the difference between a smartphone and a PDA. Secondly, we'll talk about the mobile digital dragon. Finally, we'll speak about the IT super tiger, India. These are two very strong images of these two ancient yet strong and growing countries, especially in the wireless and IT space. So the global smartphone revolution. You know, the mobile device, it's already changing the, the basic way that people in the United States, China, and India communicate. However, that starting point of mobility is very, very different across countries and cultures. And smartphones are going to allow them to integrate tasks, duties, and basically what we're talking about is the mobile internet, utilizing the smartphone as a voice-centric device to do that. Voice-centric with data. So what is a wireless converged device, you may be asking yourself. Is it a phone? Oh, look, I have a phone here. This happens to be actually a smartphone. Not the best one made in the world, but it is a smartphone. Notice the Microsoft-like UI. When you take a PDA, a data messaging device, and a cell phone, when you converge all those together, that is essentially what you call a smartphone. However, when the functions become more valuable than combined, combined than separated, that's really when you want a smartphone. So you really want integration in these mobile devices. Very often there's a space savings. Well, look at this, I have a smartphone, so look at I can do everything. I can surf the web, I can do everything on this device right here and right now. When there's little or no compromise, I don't want to compromise size, I need small, I need something that fits in the pocket. Actually, it makes things simpler, not more complex. I need complex simplicity not complexity. I think smartphones aren't quite there yet in that category, but they're getting there. And finally, basically you want to remove clutter from your pocket. I want one device. I want it to do everything. I want that device to be my main tool for business. Converged devices. Well, these are nothing new. We've been converging technology, and we continue to converge technology. Basically, but people are skeptical, aren't they? They are skeptical of these converged devices. How much is it going to take you to plop four or five hundred dollars down on one of these? You're going to be a little skeptical, aren't you? Because there have been design failures in the past with these mobile devices, haven't there? Basically, technology wasn't there five years ago, but it is there now with advances of technology. And it makes for, uh, for, a, complex, it makes for a complex user experience. Basically, when it does that, I mean, look, I am too busy as a businessman. Make it simple for me. I need to make my calls, and I need to surf the web, and I need to communicate with my clients. That's what uh, enterprise users want. And finally, if there's no clear customer need. So people were skeptical when, well, why do I need a TV on my phone? I don't use, I don't watch TV at home. Why do I need it on my phone? Now there's something called mobile device convergence. And a lot of people are confused. What's a smartphone? What's a feature phone? What's a PDA? What's a wireless PDA? <laughs> My goodness, all of these terms people are still trying to come to terms with. All they want is something that creates productivity for their busy business life. And basically, if you look at smartphones and feature phones, these feature phones really capture about 70% of the world market today. Smartphones are growing. They are growing. If you listen to Microsoft's image of smartphones, well, a smartphone is going to do everything in the future. Probably not, however, However, the imagination of the manufacturers is limitless. They will continue to come out and recreate the form factor. So I'll talk a little bit further about that in just a few slides. But look at the GSM cell, uh, cell phone tiering structure. Basically, smartphones, the prices are coming down because, why? Feature phones. Feature phones combine similar technology into the same type of form factor 
and they deliver at a much more cost-effective cost price. So they're bringing the price of smartphones down. And uh, then you've got the mid-tier feature phone, low-tier, and then your quote-unquote basic $25 handset that Motorola and others are trying to promote into third-world markets. So what, what, where are smartphones and PDAs different? Why do they differ? Well, you have a few different software camps. But generally speaking, as you can see here, this is kind of the Microsoft camp here, where your data-centric handheld device, where voice is secondary. Yes, you can make a voice call, but it really is secondary. So basically, when you look at this, the design is for two-hand usage compared to one hand with the smartphone. So if you're asking, what is a smartphone? A smartphone is essentially supposed to be used with one hand. And if you look at a data-centric um, device for the Pocket PC, really has very little telephony beyond perhaps Wi-Fi, maybe Bluetooth, essentially. And they also may have GPS uh, for the tracking capability in the device. But all of these technologies are interchangeable, and they have been interchangeable. They want to put uh, basically GPS on a smartphone as well. So there's no set rule in these converged mobile devices. I like to talk about diversity of handsets now. They come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes you don't even know it's a smartphone or a cell phone or a converged device when you look at it. Um, they, they're getting pretty funky. You've got your slider, your front slider, you've got your side slider phones, you've got your tablet-like PC type PDA devices, you've got your, you've got your swivel type, You've got your slide out, your left slide out, your top slide out, and your regular old generic Motorola, this is Motorola phone type flip phone. So in terms of the form factor, they're incredibly creative right now. And consumers, what do consumers want? They want personalization, differentiation, and they want to become, they want it to become a, as critical as the brand. Well, you know, I need it customized. I want to watch the Mariners win opening day. Well, they didn't win the opening day, but anyway. I want to watch that on my mobile device, right? That's what I want to see. Operators, what do they want? They want to customize the handset with basically a singular <coughs> user interface, a singular brand, a singular customization. What do the MVNOs want? Well, they want to serve integrated and voice data services. They want, to, they want to combine everything, but they have content. So what do they want to do? They want to take that content they want to lease the lines from Sprint or Verizon, and they want to provide a unique service based on the content that they have for what? To generate revenue in their business model. So Operator's original plan was just, just to sell a few mass market phones. Hey, we'll sell millions of these. We'll get out to the market. We'll make a lot of money. Oh, yeah. But the market has changed because customization has occurred because there are so many segmented market groups really not just in the United States, but globally. Let's talk about convergent lifestyles. They influence these converged devices. Now, let's be honest. How many, and I'm going to ask you a question, how many of you have used your cell phone and your spouse has told you to turn it off? Can I, can I get a show of hands? Can you raise your hand? Oh, a few. Okay, well... My wife does it all the time. Anyway, so people work at home. We, we have Soho. We all have Sohos. Now, we need it. We can get online. We can check our email. But people also do interesting things at work, at home, and work. They pay their bills, of course, during lunchtime, right? And, uh, but there's a social impact of this converged lifestyle. You know, when I travel in and out of Asia, sometimes I have to, I have to use the restroom, and the, and the damn thing is ringing. I just let it ring. But basically, you have no privacy with these mobile devices anymore. They know where you are 24-7. Maybe that's what you want. I say turn off the cell phone when you go home. Don't let it interrupt your family life. Don't do that. So there's a new generation, though, of mobile information workers. We're all this new generation of mobile information workers. And basically, these society workers, 